Hey guys, welcome back to my vinyl channel. Thanks for coming back. Sorry it's been a little while since I posted something, but uh, kind of lost my enthusiasm for vinyl for just a little while, and I'm going to be rekindling it with this new turntable. Why am I buying a new turntable when I already have an Audio-Technica LP120? Well, I'll get into that in just a little while. In the meantime, I'm excited to get this out of the box. It's a Fluence uh, belt drive turntable, RT81, and um, I... There's a lot of reasons why I picked this model over some of the other ones. And again, let's get it out of the box and then we'll talk a little bit about that. So, I've never done an unboxing video before. Um, there's not very many on YouTube for this particular turntable. I think there might only be one. And it's kind of a time lapse. So, okay. It's a box within a box. That's why I don't do unboxing videos because you never know. It's hard to plan these things. It's a... Uh, yeah. Are we going to fight with it or not? There we go. Oh, it's a hefty little uh, little unit. It's fairly heavy. Not sure it's quite as heavy as the LP120. All right, here we go again. How many boxes are we going to have to open? They tricked me with this when I was a kid. Okay. What have we got? Some sort of a catalog. Nice, nice shiny catalog. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Smellness of the smell of newness. All right. We have a piece of cardboard and we have a rubber turntable mat. I'll put that over there. And then we have a little booklet. Presumably that's the instructions. And then we have a turntable. Now we gotta get this out of here. Skedaddle. There. There's other models that I that I was looking at, and I'll tell you why I chose this one in just a moment. Let me get it out of here. Okay, isn't this exciting? All right, now what? The lid. All right, now you guys are going to get the front row seat here. I've got it backwards, but that's all right because this is for you, not for me. There'll be, uh, I'm sure there'll be parts inside of these. Yes, there's the cartridge um, already mounted in the head shell. I'll be changing the cartridge out, by the way. So we'll get that out of there. Put that down for a sec so you can see. So what is this? This is the, it's the 90, what is this? The green, I forget the model. 95, 91, okay, put it at the bottom of the screen. That's what comes comes with it. Let's get that off of there. So there's the cartridge. Presumably pre-aligned, but I will check that. And a counterweight, of course. Right there. All right, back to the turntable. Carefully lifting that off from behind. Oh my goodness, would you look. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I don't want to touch it. Platter and a cord. Oh, we have a 45 adapter. A power pack. Gotta be careful you don't throw any of these packing materials away before you know exactly what you've got. So yes, that's the little, little power adapter. So we'll set that down right there. So what I'll do here quickly for you guys, because I'm obviously not going to set it up right here on this table, but I will stick the platter on down there. I'll go through all this packaging later and make sure I didn't miss anything. It has the belt already on it. There you have it. And I'm not going to put the belt on right now, but you just grab this little tab and you thread the belt around the motor. But for now, we'll just sit it on there. 
and we'll grab our mat. That's a nice rubber mat. All right. And of course the cartridge, you know, it just goes on like that. There you have it. Of course, I'll install the little counterweight as well so we don't lose it. There we go. All right. I love this thing. I can't wait to give it a spin. And of course, I will demo it for you guys and tell you what I think. Now, why did I pick this particular model over some of the other models like the U-turn, um, the project? Um, well, first of all, uh, Price-wise, I think this is a great value, but the main reason is because I want to be able to interchange the cartridges. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, I am going to be changing this cartridge out for my uh, AT440 MLA cartridge, which I absolutely love, and that cartridge is going to live on this turntable. However, there's going to be times when I'm going to want to put that cartridge on my Audio-Technica turntable for various reasons, so I want to be able to interchange them and hopefully I won't have to realign it for each turntable. Hopefully the uh, geometries are the same, but if they're not, it's still going to be a lot easier to interchange it than it would have been with some of those other turntables that don't have that ability. You screw that cartridge right onto the tone arm and you put the wires on and that would be a real pain in the neck to have to change that. So that was kind of one of the main selling points. The other thing that um, sold me on this thing is because for some strange reason, I'm a fan of S-shaped tone arms. I, I don't know why. I've never really um, found out or read any particular sonic difference between them. I know that some of the other turntables have the straight tone arm with the carbon fiber material and all this kind of stuff. Um, S-shaped tone arms I hear are S-shaped because that helps reduce resonance because it's not a straight thing. So, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, sides to this controversy and discussion. And for me, aesthetically, I just prefer the look of it. Part of listening to your vinyl is watching it, watching it on your turntable and having something nice to look at and be proud of. And well, I just prefer the look of the S-shaped toner. That's it, it's just me, okay? Now, the other thing is um, you might ask me, yes, you have a, an Audio-Technica turntable. Why did you go and buy this turntable when the Audio-Technica is actually a good turntable? Well. I love the Audio-Technica LP120 for DJ purposes. I do a live broadcast on vonlive.tv every Friday night, and I do play some vinyl. And it's great for queuing records. Um, it's a direct drive turntable, so you don't have to deal with a belt when you're trying to queue up a record. And it's just made for that. However, when I'm sitting by myself listening to vinyl on headphones or turned up loud on the speakers, I can hear the motor on that turntable on some of my records, not all of them. Some of the vinyl records I have are, are different, you know, densities or whatever, and I can hear that motor. And that turntable is known for having a bit of an issue with uh, the motor not being 100% quiet. If you put your ear to the platter and you turn it on, you can actually hear a whirring sound. And that transforms on, across onto the cartridge. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a horrible thing. But I can hear it, and it distracts me from the music. So what I decided to do is go for a belt drive turntable because I know that belt drive turntables tend to be quieter. I think for the price, um, I've seen some of those other turntables that are like close to a thousand dollars and they're really not all that much different than this. I mean they've got the platter and the arm and the speed control and I, I just don't see how uh, it's really worth my, my money to spend a thousand dollars on something when really to my ear it's not going to make a one hell of a difference if any in the sound. I mean, you know, um, some people think they can hear the difference when I know one guy on YouTube, he was saying he changed the counterweight on this turntable, this thing at the back of the arm that, that balances the arm. He changed it for something, another counterweight, and he said it improved the bass response of his turntable. I don't, I don't subscribe to those kinds of things. I don't, I don't know how that could, how that could be so. Um, Maybe there's some reason why that could be, but I know I wouldn't hear it. There's another thing you can do for some of the other turntables. You can buy a new belt. It's called a reference belt. 
And so instead of using the belt that comes with the turntable, you go out and spend $50 on this other belt that's supposed to have better stability, speed stability. Again, these are small, these are, these are snake oil to me. I don't go for that kind of stuff. Um, if the belt that comes with the turntable isn't good enough to play records properly, then they shouldn't supply it with the turntable. So I'm not going to go out and spend $50 on a white belt um, thinking that it's going to make my, my turntable more stable speed-wise. I just don't go for that snake oil stuff. I'm sure this is going to sound fantastic and I can't wait to give it a try. When I do uh, listen to it for a little while, I will uh, let you know what I think. I'm excited. I'm going to take this down to my listening room, hook it up and give it a whirl. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you back again real soon. Keep those records spinning. And remember, vinyl is vinyl. Cheers. Take care.